guys. So I uh, put out a video the other day on Instagram about me doing a little long range flight at the spot that I'm at right now. It's about a mile out to get to this spot, but I had questions about my video and about the setup that I'm using. Um, for video, I am I'm basically just using the LaForge module. I use uh, this little VAS, uh, I think Ion is what this guy's called antenna here. And um, for the the flight I did before, I don't know where it's at. It's the little um, immersion IRC, the 8 dBi patch antenna but I'm gonna show you guys using like this big dopey antenna here how good of reception you guys could get it goes pretty far I'm just gonna show you guys all the DVR footage um, it's gonna be coming from the Eagle I think it's Eagle 2 the run cam Eagle 2 um, I'll show you guys video on that of course and yes I am using the TBS uh, crossfire module I have it hooked up to the uh, the uh, tuned antenna not the little T one that you guys normally see a lot of people use and uh, yeah let's do this flight and uh, you guys will see how clear of a picture I actually get going I could probably go over a mile out so we'll see how it goes alright so I totally uh, messed this one up when I was doing the actual recording of this video and I was going to do a voiceover and I messed that up. I forgot to hit record. So this is going to be me doing a voiceover of the DVR footage to kind of explain things through to you guys. Sorry. By the way, if you can't tell, I'm like really tired. That's probably why that happened. Alright, so here we go. Um, when I get past this little tree line section, I always have a breakup right around here. That's just uh, me crossing through those trees for some reason. It always happens. But yeah, between that spot and, and this area and this next spot that's coming up, when I get to the edge of this like turn right here, you'll see it right there. Um, the colors that you see going back and forth on the video is actually my LaForge module clicking back and forth to try and find the best signal. Now, you'll see it's still flickering the color. I still have really good video. It's not as bad on my actual goggles as you see here on the DVR. But you'll see there gets to a point like right about here where it finally clicks over. It has good video. And we're basically at the mile mark. This is where I started last time right into this little cove here. And it's good. Um, I, I keep going just to show that over a mile my video is still really clear. This is a good camera as well, this uh, run cam camera. Uh, I'm really liking it. Um, I, I know there's problems with the other one, but uh, now watch this. I'm going to turn around at a point. I think it's somewhere around here. I'm well over a mile. Now my, my antenna, my video antenna, it, it faces the other way. Everything goes completely black. This is what separates kind of, I guess, some pilots from the others. I don't panic in this situation. As you see, I just, I know my heading. I keep going that way. I get above that bad section to get video back. Um, you can see the wind was pushing me around quite a bit. That could have caused some things because some, sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. But it looks like some wind kind of came in because on my way back here, I did feel myself get kind of pushed around. Um, but uh, yeah, for the most part, video was good. And you can see, I mean, it's it's pretty solid the whole way through. I know that's the biggest thing is the crossfire has no limitation for me to go out that far. But the, to actually get the video the whole way is uh, it could be pretty tough. But, you know, with the LaForge, like I said, with that big antenna that's on there and everything, there's no trouble. I, the only trouble I had was, I think, a little bit with the wind and the fact that my antennas were facing opposite directions for a little bit at that time it caused that little blackout issue but yeah just don't be a rookie you know don't go oh my god 
I don't know where everything anything's at and just disarm and then you got to go walk for it. Just try and hold it and uh, usually it comes back to you, especially if you punch out above everything. So, um, yeah, this is kind of a waste of the video, just me hand catching it because I don't want it to be uh, in the sand over here. So, but you can see the, the run cam deal is pretty good and that's uh, everything else that was on my screen. Alright, so hopefully this video uh, kind of explains a couple things for you guys and if you guys have any questions further than what I showed or any questions on what I was showing, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe and I'm at 5,000 subscribers now. I have a frame that I'm going to be giving away. Um, actually, let me see if I can find it. It's been a while. It took me a long time to get to 5,000. Come on, guys. Come on. Alright, so this is the frame. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the uh, GEP RC. I got this one a little while back ago. It's a 6 inch frame. Um, it seems like it would have been pretty cool, but I don't fly bottom mounted batteries, but I was just like doing it for a little bit of prototype stuff. I'll give this to you guys, but I gotta find a creative way, I think, to give it away, because I've done some other stuff before and I've given things away. But um, I kind of like the idea of you guys submit a video to me showing me like basically your best freestyle video or long range video whatever you guys are into show me that in the best way possible I'll take some of the submissions and it'll be fun for everybody and then yeah I'll, I'll put that video onto my uh, my YouTube channel and I will give that away so yeah I have my email below just email me your uh, whatever that's called the URL to your video I'll check them all out I'll write down my favorites, I'll narrow it down, and I'll pick one of you guys. I'm like 80% sure that 80% of this frame's not in here. I'll get everything to you guys though.